Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to episode 47 of the Tim Tebow Dynasty. Not a quarterback. He will never be a quarterback. He will never, he will never, he'll never figure out the passing game in this league. <laughs> in this game, we're taking on the Chicago Bears. We already have a four-game lead in our division, and a win today would basically seal up a division win for us because it would push our lead to about five games with about six or seven games left and our defense already returned an interception for a touchdown so before our offense even gets on the field we are up seven to zero some key players on this Bears defense is they have two good players on the defensive line and I'm probably gonna say this wrong but they got defensive end Shay McLeland who's an 87 and defensive tackle Henry Melton, who's a 92. They also have corner Terrell Brown, who's a 90. And everybody else isn't that good. We do have Jones Drew uh, in the second game back from injury. Trying to get, keep him involved in our offense. He didn't really have a good first game back. Trying to get him more involved today. And we are without, again, Zach Meile. We're trying to get Justin Blackman to have back-to-back -back good games after his five touchdown performance with about 190 yards last week. And just a reminder that we are trying to break several NFL records this season. Um, Justin Blackman's going after Randy Moss's touchdown record, which he's actually really close to it after his five touchdown performance. And he's going after Calvin Johnson's record for yards in the season, which he's also close to that one. I'm on pace to break uh, Drew Brees' completion percentage record for the season. And I'm on pace to be the first quarterback to rush for 2,000 yards, with another about 6,000 yards passing for the season. So it's a pretty good offense, if I say so myself. That time he did not make a good decision. You gotta throw it sometimes deep down the middle. And again, the Justin Blackman and outside. me, Tim Tebow, we are playing on one-year deals right now. He's both expiring contracts after this season, so we're both looking for new deals. I mentioned but before, the there's one, about 14 teams that could be looking for a new quarterback after this year. And I'm... Ask if you guys wanted me to be a uh, free agent or if you wanted me to resign with the Jaguars because they did offer me a $50 million five-year contract last week. Well, since I haven't even declined it or accepted it, they upped it to $53 million for five years. So we'll see if it goes up. If I don't do anything, I'm still going to let you guys decide. And it looks like Mercedes Lewis has started off the game for us with a nice touchdown grab right there. A rare sighting from this season so far coming into the game. He has like three, I think it was. One more snap and that'll end the quarter. First down and ten. Play fake here. On the run. For about four. And that's the end of the first quarter. We are up 14-0. to Again, I'm looking to... This is my first time playing the Bears. I was expecting their defense to be really good because growing up I'm used to the Bears having one of the better defenses in the NFC. They haven't the last couple of years, but this game is still kind of from the time when they had a good defense. Our offensive line got caught holding on that play, taking back the huge reception from Golden Tate. I like to make fun of defenses when they get called for penalties. But I make fun of my offensive line all the time for being crap. And they just gave up another, and they just gave up a sack. So now instead of it being first down on their side of the field, we are now facing a third and 23 because of two bad plays by our offensive line. Justin Black wide open. Justin Blackman was wide open on the right side of the field. But we find Golden Tate over the middle again. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. 
And you find Justin Blackman wide open on the outside for a nice 31 yard pickup. Again, without Zach Mia, we are down to four wide receivers on our team. So in this five receiver sets, Jones Drew comes in as an extra receiver. That should have been another touchdown to Mercedes Lewis, but he slips out of bounds. Three catches for seven yards. It should be two touchdowns, though. He had nobody covering him, so now Jones Drew gets a touchdown. And I'm pretty sure that was Maurice Jones' first touchdown this season. And now that we got the ball back, it looks like our defense is continuing to hold them to zero points. We're up 21 to zero. Nobody looks open yet. So we're gonna take off, got a nice block right there. And we're out of bounds. Four carries, 48 yards. Pretty good start as we continue to push for this 2,000 rushing yards with Tebow. Alright, looks like we're going to have our matchup on the outside with Blackman. Now they're going to play it. So we take a nice dump off to Cotton Deacon. It's nice that they moved him to second second on our depth chart ahead of Stephen Ridley. I like him so much more. Because not only is he a good runner, but he's a great receiver. And Mercedes Lewis gets injured. He was having a nice game. He's already had like four or five catches today. Not a lot of yards, but he has a touchdown. And there's Justin Blackman with his second catch, 55 yards. Again, we're looking for 130 per game for him. Maybe we could get him to 2,000 yards this season. And Blackman's open. They're just running it up. We get the ball back, and our defense again has held them to zero points so far in this first half. I think I mentioned that uh, Big Ben and Eli both signed extensions, which drops that, which drops the number of teams looking for quarterbacks in the offseason from about 14 or so to maybe 12-ish. So we should have a market if we do become a free agent. That's up to you guys, though. I could keep playing in Jacksonville, especially if we win another Super Bowl. Wait, two-minute warning, looking again to score before halftime. But yeah, if we wanted to continue to build a Super Bowl in Jacksonville, I don't know how much more fun this is going to be, because... Right now, we're, we've only lost that one game that we shouldn't have lost. I don't know if, with the way, with the way our offense is playing, we shouldn't lose again. A. Sanders gets a nice catch there. So, this is a good chance we finish 15-1 and one and then continue to win going to the Super Bowl. So, how are we going to improve next year? Besides, like, throwing less interceptions and stuff. And again, I don't know how the Bears are playing this bad. It's not like I'm playing a rookie. I'm playing on the hardest setting. But we're up 35-0 to zero with 44 seconds and three timeouts. Good shot at scoring again. Justin Blackman with another big catch. Yep, we use one of those timeouts. Hey, I'm, gonna look, look, I'm trying to go into the uh, half. Up. 42 to 0. We got Justin Blackman who's going to be open again on the left side. Oh yeah, down to the 18. My offense is great. Justin Blackman has 5 catches for 122 yards today with the entire second half to play. They were sensational inside the red zone. Breaks one tackle, can't do it the second. Gets a couple yards. The clock's running though. I don't want to use that timeout yet. I'm trying to score. Nickel formation for the defense here. On second down and five. Gets away from the pressure. I thought I would maybe three. get enough for the first down. Want to talk about this third down. 
and I use my last timeout. So if we don't pick it up here, and I don't throw an incompletion, the clock stops. And I throw an interception. That was a terrible throw. He read it perfectly, but I get a nice tackle. So, Wonderful job by the defense that time. so much for not throwing an interception today. And we're back in the second half, up 35 to zero. We're gonna get our run game more involved in the second half instead of just keep running up this clock, uh, running up the score. We're gonna eat some of this clock with our run game. And yeah, we'll, we'll score every chance we get, but let's get Jones Drew some of these carries. He had what, three in the first half? We'll get him more in the second. Pick up the first. Throwing now to his left. Kevin Burnett able to bring him down. That should have been a first down. I don't care. I'm going for it. What are they going to do? Score? But we're without Mercedes Lewis the rest of the game. Jones Drew does get the first down in four yards. have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. Harris lined up now as a slot receiver. And Blackman's wide open again on the outside. He now has 150 yards for the day. 91% completion percentage for the day. Pretty good. This Bears defense, like I mentioned, I guess has gotten worse. I don't know. I was expecting them to be good. Cotton Deke doing his second catch. Trying to get him some rush yards today, too. At least rush attempts. After the pass play, gain seven, second and three on the way. Right, well, the tackle's going to yeah, he, uh, was, I don't know what, he's trying to jump over somebody? I don't know. Well, he picked up the first down. Harris is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Another catch by Deacon. The guy misses a tackle. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. All right, I'm going to be looking for a black man on the outside to the left. Right there. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. And it looks like the Bears threw another interception. Their second of the game. So we get good field position to start this drive. And we're going to open up with a run by our fullback. I don't know. I don't get involved in our offense very much. Because I don't like fullbacks. If I was running the team, there would be no fullback on the team. Because you could have a running back or a tight end do the same thing that he does. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Third down. Hester's going to secure the hand. And he picks up the first down. Again, this is like our third fullback in three seasons. Every year we get a new one. Can you see the defense where you get a chance to get a score? First down here after the run. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. Nobody blocked him. Now it's second and goal and 13 yard line. Jones Drews out wide on the left. Tebow's got it in the gun. Ah, I should have thrown it to Golden Tate right there. But I picked up four. So third and nine. Either way, I'm going for it on fourth down. Golden Tate's wide open. Another touchdown to increase the lead. And that wraps up the first three quarters of the game. One quarter left. Can the Bears make a comeback down 49 to zero? Probably not. So now we're going to go to our backup players. I wish they would take me out because there's really nothing more I can do. There's no reason to keep scoring. Justin, uh, Justin Blackman made the catch and he fumbles it. It looks like he's hurt on that play. Luckily, he will not be injured beyond this week. He's just going to miss the rest of this game. 
But our defense holds him again, so he get the ball. Jones here picks up a nice chunk of four yards right there. Jones Drews lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Maurice Jones Drew. Again, I'm pretty sure I mentioned earlier that Eli and Big Ben uh, signed new contracts. They each got two-year deals worth about 36 and 32 million each. So about 18 and 16 million per year. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I'm doing mine right with averaging it, I don't know if that 23 is coming out of the 53 they offered me or if it's on top of the 53. So, so either they got paid more per season than I'm getting offered or it's similar. Again, we're just trying to run out this clock in the third quarter. Cotton Deacon makes a nice play to get the first down. His third carry of the game. I'm trying to get him some more carries this fourth quarter. As again, I'm just trying to run out this clock. There's no reason to try scoring again. And this video has no sponsor. And I'm not going to talk about eating crayons. But I get the feeling that some of you guys don't believe that people eat crayons. They are delicious and nutritious. And they're good for you. They have great flavor to them. So I'm kind of tempted to do a video of me just eat, sitting there eating crayons to prove you wrong. If you're interested in that, comment below. Let me know. But back to the football game. Maurice Jones Drew now has 10 carries for 45 yards. Cotton Deacon's better as a backup. We have a bunch of non-receivers in. But we use our legs to almost pick up the first down. We have 90 yards today. One of my lower rushing yards games this season. Alright, we got Golden Tate wide open. They're playing way off of him. His fourth catch of the game. I'm trying to get him more involved until Zach Mia comes back. Because then once Mia's back, I want to throw him the rock a lot. Like 12 times a game. Golden Tate picks up another first down, his fifth catch of the game. I have five touchdowns today. So in the last two weeks, I've thrown, I think, ten total touchdowns. So I'm having a pretty good season. You could basically guarantee that I win the MVP again. I just need to cut down on those turnovers. Hopefully I just have less than I did last year. That's a real goal. And Jones Drew gets another catch for another first down. 31 for 33. I'm definitely improving my completion percentage in the uh, attempts for beating Drew Brees' record. And Maurice Jones Drew did nothing there but lose a yard. And we're at the two-minute warning. We're doing a pretty good job on this drive of running down that clock. We have two backup quarterbacks. I don't know why they can't do this. All you have to do is keep handing it off to the backups. But if you're going to keep me in, I'm going to keep trying to score. I should have thrown it to Golden Tate right there. He was wide open. But we get we end up scrambling and taking a sack. We're not going to use any of these timeouts. We're just going to let the clock continue to run. A long drive so far. Back in shotgun formation. Yeah, that was a bad throw. It looked like Harris was open. And Brown just jumped into the air and made the interception. But that's the end of the game. The Browns could not score. The Bears could not score at all. They played like the Browns, but it's the Bears. We win 49-0. to zero. And next week we're going to be playing the Titans for the second time this season. If you enjoyed this game, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Comment below if you think we should test free agency or we should accept that contract for the Jaguars. And come back for the next game. Your support is very much appreciated. I'll see you next time as we take on the Tennessee Titans for a second time this season.